Good morning. Welcome to WJZ.com. If you haven't heard a weather forecast in, let's say, the past uh, 12, 15 hours, I've got some pretty good news for you. And by the way, right on time, set your watch by the harbor taxi going from Discover over to Harbor East. And this morning, unlike yesterday, not really cutting through any little thin sheen of ice. It's not a real windy morning either. You didn't see the, the uh, water of the Inner Harbor really moving around at all. It's about 20 degrees. I'll make this presentation for you at 7 a.m. with no real wind chill. We have crystal clear skies in the area. Let's go ahead and talk about, in this order, the twin storms coming our way Thursday and Saturday night into Sunday. Okay, we know we've got this upper level system that's uh, powering its way uh, across the lower Ohio Valley, the upper Tennessee Valley, and toward us. And it's going to take a northerly track, if you will, out to the north and west of the metro. A cutter, as we like to call them, cutting west of the mountains, and we stay on the relatively warm side of the issue. Now, before I start the future cast, I want you to know that I've taken the clouds out of it. Clouds are white, so is snow. So I want to see where there's going to be snow, rain, or a mixed precip. The rain would be green, mixed precip would be uh, a, a pinkish, if you will. And frankly, what we're seeing a lot of is green going and gone out of here. Now, this is going to be Thursday night into Friday morning. And by the way, temperature is going to rise during the overnight. In a worst case scenario, uh, Friday morning, you might see an inch, you might. Uh, it's going to be kind of a wait and see issue. And even north and west, where we're kind of looking at the one to two or even further out, two to three, it, this warm envelope of air really is starting to change the dynamic of the forecast. But doing our due diligence in a worst case scenario, that's why I put this graphic up. Now, let's talk about storm number two. I'm a boater. I've talked about that before. And the best way to go down the bay, to be honest about it, is follow another boat. Let the first boat kind of disturb the water, get in, get in the calm water behind that boat, and just follow. And I think that's what storm number two is doing. It, too, is starting to suggest, by computer modeling, is starting to suggest a more northerly track. In other words, cutting out to our north and west. And this is a big storm. There's a lot of moisture coming with this low. If this was a southerly track, we, we could be talking a couple of feet of snow somewhere in the mid-Atlantic. But right now, we're not. Let's again take a look at the future cast. Any white you see is going to be snow. And what we're looking at with the weekend low, other than a few little shots of this mixed precip, is going to be primarily a rain event. But this low is so deep. It is going to grab a piece of the polar vortex and lay it right down over the area. And frankly, it's not going to lay it down over the area. It's going to slam it right in, too. There's going to be a lot of moisture laying around, which could flash freeze. This is a concern that we have for Sunday night into Monday, something we'll have to watch very closely. But clearly, the coldest air of the season and maybe the entire season is on the way. Start talking about that a couple of days ago. 42 degrees will be the highest day. Not a bad afternoon. Getting a little bit breezy overnight tonight. We'll call it partly cloudy in 26. Now, here's that seven-day outlook. And again, maybe a, a mix to start the event number one, if you will, Thursday night. But temperatures are going to rise overnight all the way to Ohio. Almost 50 degrees on Friday. Friday's going to be a pretty darn good day with sunshine returning. Then Saturday is going to be a sloppy mess. Uh, I'm not suggesting that it's going to be all rain. There could be some mixed precip involved here. But generally speaking, temperatures never get below freezing and will rise overnight to almost 50 degrees when you get up Sunday morning. Heck, it could be 43, 44 degrees. But then, out of nowhere, bang, here comes that polar vortex. 16 degrees, and this is before wind chill. 20 and 8 on, on Monday. Look, the wind chills Monday morning could easily be zero. Easily Tuesday morning after that suggested eight could be well below zero. It's still going to be cold, but we moderate to at least 30 and 20 on Tuesday. So there has been a significant change in our favor. I'm writing a blog right now, which I will vlog here later on. And I want to bring a little bit of a hurricane season uh, presentation into this discussion right now. I'm very fond of saying during hurricane season, the information I just presented is only valid until the next update. Let's just say this is valid until the next update and hope the trend in our favor continues. Cool? Okay. Thanks so much for stopping by. WJZ, a little honesty here. Thanks for stopping by WJZ.com.